Right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rachakudash. Double honors been to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Ruel, and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, Ofu. Like that, dipish not this word of our truth and sincerity to all you welcome to Shalom. I'm the Akira. I'm from the servants Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I'm coming in with the you know, quick key going to the book of Luke, ninth chapter, verse 62, which reads, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. And that's to the point, man. You know, it's very direct and straightforward. Hey, so if you're not doing the works, man, the Lord don't want you, man. I wish that word plow is a tool. You know, the plow, plow is a a tool used to till the ground, you know, so it makes the, it basically blades that, 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 um, make those narrow trenches in order to be able to sow afterwards, you know, in the field. And that's what we're to do, you know, we're plowing and we're sowing, we're plowing and we're plowing and we're sowing, basically farming, you know, and all for the sake of, uh, to edify the, the, the sheep, man. So no man having put his hand to the plow, and back is here for the kingdom, of Yahweh by Shimon but uh, I want to get a quick piece of that in the previous chapter. So Luke 8, the eight, Luke the 8th chapter, verse 5, it says, A sower went out to sow a seed, you know, and as he sowed some fell by the wayside, and as it was thrown down, and the fellows of the year devoured it. When Yahweh Shai, you know, the apostles, you know, the other disciples on down, you know, into these times, you know, us like him, hey, we're, 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 we're sowing, man. All right, well, because. Because in verse 11, it makes the mention. Now, the parable is this the seed is the word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. What are we out here doing on these lessons? You know, life sit downs, walking talks, in transit, you know, uh, quick hits, you know, out in the houses and hedges. Teaching the word, man. Teaching the word. So, if you're not doing that, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not you know, doing the works, which the Lord demands of those works, it'd be this commanded unto us. You know, uh, the, the Lord ain't gonna, you know, um, reward you. You know, He ain't gonna reward you. You know, in, in a good manner. He, he's, as a matter of fact, He's gonna reward you. You know, in a in a in a bad way. Hey, the book of. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get that out. I'm mistaken. The book of Revelation. Yeah, uh, the book of. All right, I'm just, I'm just going to get out Revelation, the 22nd chapter, verse. All right, um, 12 says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And according, when you look at that word according, it basically means as stated by, as specified by, depending on whether. You know, so basically relating to a, a certain work. You know, sort of an action. You know, you got something that was a cause and effect. So likewise, you know, the cause being the, 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 the deed has an effect, which is, you know, the reward according to that. You know, uh, that, that, what's that one word? So like, it kind of lost my train of thought. Yeah, according to the deed. So going back to, uh, you know, Luke, if, if, if you ain't, if you ain't, you know, um, doing the works, especially in these times we're in right now, Hey, like the other apostle Tara made out, you know, put out the order, you know, teaching every day. If you miss one day, you miss, you miss one day or two, you make up, you know, one or two videos the next, you know, one or two days. You're, you're back on top. So we're supposed to, you know, do the works. You know, that was in the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter, which I wish I commanded the, the, the apostles, which likewise, since we're being, you know, secondhand witnesses of these things, they also apply to us. So we're, we're being commanded as well, you know. And as a matter of fact, that's what that's that's the prophet's role, you know, to 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 to, to teach, man, to edify. The scripture is one that will let no evil communication come out of thy mouth, but that which is edifying. If I'm saying that was the apostle Paul that made that mention. Correct me if I'm wrong, or was it the apostle Peter? You know, one of the apostles. But in the book of Matthew, the twenty-eighth chapter, verse nineteen, makes the mention. 
Actually, verse 18, it says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things which whatever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. You see, which those other nations are referring to Jake, man. You know, back in the ancient world, referring to the Israelite foreigners. And now, you know, now in these modern, modern, modern times, referring to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, so uh, to prove that those nations are referring to Israel still and not, not the actual heathen. This is the book of Genesis, the 33rd chapter, if I'm mistaken. All right, uh. But with me, again, it was the 35th chapter, probably. I know it was around 30. All right, the 35th chapter. Verse 11, it says, or uh, I'm sorry, verse 14, it says, it's like uh, verse, verse 10, or verse 9, verse 9. And Yahweh appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Padanaram and blessed him. And Yahweh said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And Yahweh said unto him, I am power almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. You know, which goes into how uh, sex ain't, ain't, ain't wicked. It because Heavenly Father ultimately deemed, you know, re requested, you know, you know, Jay to, to be fruitful and multiply, man. I want to show you that sex is a beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's not a sin. So uh, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So, you know, it, you know, after Jacob, there was no other nations, all right? It was just Israel, you know, the 12 tribes, the Israelites. So, you know, the, the, those nations are referring to the Israelites, man. You know, so going back to Matthew, the 28th chapter, verse 19, it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. As a matter of fact, uh, Yahweh I made the mention to Apostle Peter, which you could also apply to us. It says, uh, um, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep, and how do you feed the sheep? And by by um feeding them this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, feeding them the scriptures, man. Feeding them scriptures, all for the sake of edification. So John twenty uh, first chapter, verse fifteen. It says, "So when they had dined, Yahweh shall I say to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these?" He saith unto him, "Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee." He saith unto him, "Feed my lambs." And the lamb slash sheep, those are referring to the Israelites, you know? Hey, the the, 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 the Lord's flock. So uh, he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Judas, Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, no, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Now wish I saith unto him, Feed my sheep. You know, so, uh, you know, just lower with the system was edifying. Or so, like, going back uh, to, like, Luke 9th, chapter 62. You know, no man having put his hand on the plow, it's for the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemu Shai. You know, because things about endurance, basically. So, I'm on that from the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, if I'm mistaken. Khan, verse 13, it reads, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, but yeah, be saved. You know, so you know, in the first go around, in the first go around, you can have the elect, which can be preserved from the fire. And they're gonna be the ones saved. You know, save them those chariots. You know, to be able to, um, you know, partake in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemu Shai. Whereas the rest of you, Jake, that that fall out this thing, or or, or or you, you know, just ignorant two thirds that are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Hey, you guys didn't have the, the second go run, all right? You guys didn't come out of the lens out of, out, of, out, of, out of the the elect, you know? The 144,000 and the one third. But I'm going to end up right there, Akim. Look what this is. This is the most edifying. And the next message, the one.